pretty unnatural for a father or any parent to push their kids into the into a ring to get potentially get hurt. My name is Brooklyn Sampang Paulo and I'm 12 years old and I train at the Elite Martial Arts Academy. I met Brooklyn probably around 2017. He was in the youth classes. Uh, he trained with his dad um, and under crew Francois. My favorite part about elite youth classes is the fact that the parents get to hold the pads. And that was really important to me. When he was like four, five, six, uh, up to seven, eight, I think, years old, and I was able to help him with his techniques and stuff. I watched him train on the bag downstairs in the basement, so I already knew how to like throw like a jab and a cross. And he used to train here a lot. And that's how you go into it? Yeah. He always was trying 100% all the time. Um, he never ever took a, you know, a, a day off, a session off, a minute off. He came into class and he was focused on Muay Thai right from the beginning. And you could always tell that he was working on his craft every time he came in. I train with Ryder, uh, Hayden, Sammy, Emma, River. Um, I spar with them. I also am also like training partners with them. I work the pads with them. First eight-year-old to come in and really try to, you know, hang with the the older kids. Uh, that took him into our teens Muay Thai class where he excelled. So his first thing really was nationals um, for uh, this year for Team Canada Nationals, which he uh, he earned his spot on Team Canada. Fought against a guy named Tyson Gardner. Uh, I knew him before because we fought in a air grade tournament against each other. I lost the air grade tournament. But I think I redeemed myself. Absolutely, I was super proud of uh, Brooklyn when he made Team Canada. Uh, it was one of his goals that he wrote down uh, for that year. It means to me that I could fight at a high level and show people that like younger, the younger generation can fight as well as the older generation. So the youth games, um, you know, Brooklyn handled himself like a professional. You know, he was very focused on his division, his, uh, what he had to do uh, when it was his turn to compete. He, um, he took on a strong competitor from Australia in the semifinals. Uh, I fought against a guy named Archie. Um, he's a really good fighter. I won against him by points. I swept him. He swept me a couple of times. Uh, and, and got a points to sit uh, victory. He then moved on to the finals where he fought uh, Team Thailand in the finals and was the only competitor from any nation to be a Thai athlete all weekend long. Um, I was really nervous because he's a Thai fighter. Like that's where like the sport originates from. So I think he got me like a little bit more like hyped up that I could fight like a Thai person and like that I'm fighting people across like the world. And winning a gold medal, yeah. what did it mean to you? Well, I don't really like care about like the hardware. I mostly care about like the feeling, like I said before. Well, what's next for you? Next for me, um, maybe try to prove to people that my win wasn't a fluke. Like I can do it again.